On today's video, we're going to change out a Kohler shower valve that's leaking. We shut the handle off here and it's not shutting off, so we're going to go ahead and change it out. Let's go ahead and get started. These handles come off pretty easy. All you have to do is twist them counterclockwise. And this gusher just hangs on there like that, so just pull it out. Pull this up. Okay, we got two Phillips screws on this plate here, one here and one there. So I'll take those off. Remove that, put it aside. Okay, right here on the right side. Little plug you gotta pull out. And then this it comes right out. Just twist it out. Pull this out. I don't know if you can see it here. It's got this little lever there holding the cartridge in. Another one on the other side. Now we're gonna have to uh, shut the water off. If our stopper valves are working, we just turn this 180 degrees. Okay, now that our water's off, <clears throat> make sure our water's off, so. Before you move it, remove anything, you make sure your water is completely <clears throat> off. If you can't shut your water off here at the stopper valves, then you need to shut off your main or another isolation valve somewhere. Okay, we have four Phillips screws right here in the valve. Here's our valve that we're gonna replace, a pressure balancing valve. Four screws. So what I like to do is get this one ready. So as soon as we remove that one, as soon as we remove this valve, this one's ready to go right in. <clears throat> okay, when we install our valve, you got your code, on the right and the uh, hots on the left side. So as soon as I <clears throat> pull that valve out, I'm gonna have this one ready to pop right in. Just in case you have a little bit of water coming through. So let's go ahead and do that. That's what we're gonna do. Pull that out. About ready to go in. Pop Four screws in. right here. Tighten them down. Awesome. Make sure you get it nice and snug. Okay, let's go ahead and turn our water back on. I'm gonna turn it on here at our stopper valves. So we're just gonna turn it to where it, it's gonna go right on our valve, just like that. See that? On the other side. So our water should be back on. Okay, let's go ahead and put everything back together in reverse order how we removed it. Tighten it all the way and then you just line it straight up like that. Now let's put on our back plate with the big round hole facing the bottom. Next is our stem extension and our handle adapter. Put your stem extension on first, and then your handle adapter. Make it as horizontal as you can. Now we got this on. Now our trim and our handle. Now the handle just goes in and we just screw it on. All right there. And you hold on your, your trim as you know, the best you can. Line that baby up, tighten her up. There it is there. No more leaks. I'd like to send a shout out to Omar and Marcus from the 412 
here in Pittsburgh for showing me their expert plumbing techniques. Thank you for watching my tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe and like.